if you must leave, it would be nice if you asked first. Okay, can I leave? I don't know, can you? May I leave? Yes, that's quite all right. Just be back before the bell rings. Can do. Every friggin' time he gets me with that. Oh my god, he's not even an English teacher. He's a science teacher. Just a requisite for being an educator at this point. I'm not comfortable using the stalls in the girls' room. Really? That's where you're gonna draw the line? What's up, guys, and welcome back to Kindergarten 2. And for today's episode, we're gonna take on a mission called Kane's Not Able. Some of you guys might remember that in The Hitman's Bodyguard, we thought that Felix wanted Ozzy dead, but it turns out he wanted his brother out of the way. We never did find out why, but considering I'm a bit of an expert in making classmates die, I get the feeling we're gonna find out today. I know we've never technically spoken before, but if you happen to have a similar appearing yet dumber version of yourself that you need killed, I'm your girl? I told you already, Teddy. The plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you, and I know it's just, I don't know, Felix, this whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. It'll be fine. Quit being such a, um, how long have you been listening to our little chat? I can show the Applesoft pin. You're Felix and Teddy Applesoft? Really? Oh, my apologies. I didn't realize that you were a man of status. That's woman of status to you. Apology accepted. You must be a new student. My name is Felix Huxley, heir to the Applesoft Empire. That makes more sense, okay. And I'm Ted. Oh, must you always be like this, Teddy? Sorry, Felix, I just thought I should. Enough, my word, Teddy, you really are out of line today. Say, anyone with that pin must be trustworthy. Teddy, I think we should let this fine fellow in on our little pet. Will you stop assuming my gender, so help me God, I will stab you with a pigtail. You guys kept telling me in the comments that I need to do a playthrough wearing an outfit, so this is your doing. <laughs> but, but I don't think it's a good idea. Ozzy is. Just shut up. If you won't help me, I'm sure this pine fellow will. I swear to God, Felix, you're skating on thin ice, okay? <laughs> if one twin goes missing, they won't know which one. What do you need? Give this document to Ozzy. It's imperative that he reads and understands it. Got it? What does it say? Because I can't read. I don't think many people here can read. Can Ozzy read? Oh, uh, it's sacred. Just give it to him and make sure he reads it. Okay. Good. Meet me in the smart class after it's done. We have much to discuss. Okay. I would imagine that this is a hit order for his brother, right? Oh, uh, hey there, Cindy. I'm just gonna throw it out there that I wore it better than you, you dumb floozy. Ozzy, you're in the dumb class. There's no way you know how to read. I can't believe it, it's not fair. Felix wants you to read this, okay? I, I don't care about Destructotron, I don't care about batteries. You can take them all and just shove them up your butt sideways. Just read this for me, for the love of God. Whoa, 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 so you're all there, new kid. I'm not taking anything from you, your hands are filthy. What do you mean my hands are filthy? They're like six pixels. Also, I need to slow my roll. Really? You little hyperactive freak, so you won't take it? Uh, not until your hands are clean. Get out of here, you filthy animal. Fine, fine. I'll go find a way to clean my hands in the middle of the morning out in front of a school. Oh, uh, how would I do that? The only water around here is in that mop, and we all know that mop isn't for cleaning anything. It's for impaling kids. Ozzy, for the last time, stop smelling my hair. It's making me really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Carla, you have to be able to read, right? You're in the smart class. Hey, you must be one of the new kids. I'm Carla. Do you have any contraband on you? How about I open with an equally inappropriate question and can you read? Psh, yeah, I could read. What's it to you? We need you to read something. What the hell do you think I mean? Unless it's required reading, I'm not interested. Oh, man. Really? Okay. Uh, who else is in the smart class? We can't get Felix. He's too close to his brother. 
Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Why don't we get Jerome? I don't think I've spoken much to you. Uh, go away! I don't want to talk about it! Can you read, though? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I could. If I could get these tears out of my eyes. Well, never mind then, you know, I've got a letter, not a hanky. Uh, I don't want to talk to Penny, but she's in the smart class, right? I'm pretty sure she is. Hello, my name is Penny. My mommy is the principal. You must be one of the new kids. It's so nice to meet you. Can you read? Oh, I just love reading. Books, manuals, schematics, anything. Schematics definitely stands out. <laughs> hey! Uh, don't worry about Penny. I can read just fine. Okay, then. Uh, Ozzy? What the hell was that? What? What? Why? Talk to me, Ozzy. Why don't you want Penny reading stuff? She's just a lovely android girl. So Bugs is as dumb as a sack of potatoes. Cindy is a bimbo. Teddy is the target of this letter. Nugget is stuck in a basement. And Monty can read. I so easily overlook Monty. He just kind of wheels away in the morning and you forget about him. Hey, oh, you looking to buy something? Can you read? Come on, kids. You know I can. You also know it'll cost you. Do we have a deal? Six dollars? Why is it so much? I literally just said that your prices are fair. How about because I saw you talking to money bags over there? That and my medical bills are expensive. So do we have a deal? I can... Get the money, I guess? Fine, go take from the witch kid. I'll stick around so you can get it. Just hurry up. Okay. Oh, so he's not gonna wheel away now. Oh, good. Which rich kid is gonna give me some money, though? I don't suppose it'd be you, Ted. Oh, hey, I'm Ted. That's nice, Ted. There's your answer. Well, does he understand what he's supposed to do? I need to borrow some money. Fine, here, take it, but he better understand the plan, got it? Got it, thank you, eight dollars, holy crap, all right, uh, I got your money. So, where's my money? You want this thing better or not? Yes, here, six dollars, just read it, for the love of God. What is it doing business with you? It says, act extremely vulnerable. Mention frequently how if something bad happens to you, it would ruin your mom's company. Okay, I guess I do that. Don't know why he wants me to, but I'm happy to take his money. Good to hear. Uh, that's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. I need to go to the smart class, don't I? I'm way too pretty to spend my time guessing what it is you're doing here, so maybe you'll just speak freely now that your brother isn't around. Oh good, I was hoping I would see you here. I take it Ozzy knows his part of the plan. He does? I have no idea what's going on, I can't read. Excellent! I suppose you would like to learn what the plan actually is. That would help, yes, please, thank you. Before I do that, I need you to sign this contract. It's a basic non-disclosure. You can't tell anybody about any of this, especially Teddy. Here's the thing about non-disclosures. I can't disclose anything that's told to me after I sign it. So I'm just gonna throw it out there right now that you and your brother are the only heir to your father's MacGuffin company. You wanna be the only heir, so you wanna kill your brother. You're getting Ozzy to pretend to be weak to lure your brother into some kind of trap and I play into all of this by fetching things for you. Does that sound about right? More than just a pretty face, I'm telling you. <laughs> you see, my father's company is very large and very important. Teddy and I are the heirs to his commercial empire. You don't say. You want to be the sole heir. Exactly. Teddy is far too naive to run a business. He must be taken care of. You want to kill him? Havens, no. I just need your assistance setting everything up. Ozzy is already doing his part. What's Ozzy's part? You paid him to do something weird. Ozzy's mother has recently begun a startup company that directly competes with our company. So, why not kill Ozzy then? Uh, that's what Teddy thinks we're doing. He wasn't on board with the plan, but Ozzy is going to drop a few hints that should persuade Teddy to strike now. So, what do you need me to do? Do you see that jar of spiders on the top shelf over there? Uh, oh! 
Oh, that's a jar of spiders? I didn't know that. <gasps> uh-huh. We're gonna need them. Bring them to me before the bell rings. Can I ask why? Because Teddy, like most people, hates spiders. We need them. Get them. Now. Could Prada please? How? How much? That's like 50 feet off the ground. There's a vent that's connected from the girl's bathroom. I had Carla jam it up before class so Bob should have a ladder against it. What about Bob? He's easy enough to distract, cause a janitorial emergency. That should keep him busy. Fair enough. Damn, this guy's got everything under control. <laughs> it's weird working with a smart person for once. So if we're gonna get out of this class, we need to take the computer assignment and our prize of either toilet paper or spray bottle. We took the spray bottle last time and used it to blind Cindy. So maybe we'll need the toilet paper this time? <laughs> to make a janitorial emergency? Okay, I'm just gonna scurry off and get me some bathroom spiders, don't mind me. If you must leave, it would be nice if you asked first. Okay, can I leave? I don't know, can you? May I leave? Yes, that's quite all right. Just be back before the bell rings. Can do. Every friggin' time he gets me with that. Oh my god, he's not even an English teacher. He's a science teacher. Just a requisite for being an educator at this point. I'm not comfortable using the stalls in the girls' room. Really? That's where you're gonna draw the line? Luckily, I am comfortable with clogging them. Just take one big step back, okay? We don't wanna get any poopy water on our pretty pink dress. <laughs> Got it! Woohoo! Boy, that sure tired out my arms. I'll close it back up in a second. No, no, Bob, don't, Bob, don't do that, Bob. You should probably deal with the toilet. My arms are pretty tired after messing with that vent. I'll get back to it in a moment. The toilet is clogged. Oh dear, I suppose that takes priority over this. Thanks for letting me know. I better go get a plunger from the janitor's closet. Please don't kill me. Kill you? Of course not. I'm just gonna have to go get a plunger from the utility closet. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I'm not used to not having janitors kill me. Sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. This is the jar of spiders Felix wanted. I still don't know why. Take the spiders. Ooh, ooh, oh crap. Uh, I hope you all learned something today. Please go. How did you get, uh, you know what? Never mind. Just get down, get out of my class. Okay, easy enough. I know this is far from your typical school, but at the same time, I gotta ask, why would a science teacher have a jar of live spiders? That doesn't seem like something that's normal. Ah, oh, right on cue. Teddy already picked up lunch for you. I take it you were able to get the item I requested. Yup, here's your jar of spiders, you freak. You didn't even take it, you just gave me a burger. Excellent, well let's not let Teddy see it. See what? What is it? Let me see you, Felix. Uh, Teddy, weren't you just telling me something about Ozzy? Something important? Oh yeah, I heard Ozzy mention that if something were to happen to him today, that his mom's company would be finished. I think you were right, Felix. So you're on board with our little plan then, Teddy? I think so, but you have to let me help. I want to show father how capable I am. Oh, don't worry, Teddy. <laughs> You have the most important part. Anyway, for the next part of the plan, we need someone to dig us a hole. Know anyone who could help? I think. But he's missing an arm, so that's a complication. You should have told me that earlier. There's no way I was supposed to save Nugget's arm to start off this episode. Right? Like, I used all of my apples very efficiently, and it's quite a task to get him out of the basement, so... I think I know somebody? Maybe? Excellent, lead the way. Oh. Oh, we're just gonna go talk to him now, huh? Well, uh, this is him. He has many external and internal problems. <laughs> hey, buddy! Nugget is getting quite woozy. Nugget misses his arm. We need you to dig a hole. Nugget would like to dig a hole, but Nugget is missing his double and his arm. If we were able to provide you with those 
things. Would you dig a hole for us? What is in it for Nugget? Uh, you say Nugget a lot. Um, what if I took you to my family's, uh, Nugget factory? Nug, Nug, Nugget, Nugget factory! Oh dear. Nugget will happily dig a hole for a twip to a Nugget factory. Bring Nugget a shovel and an arm. Nugget will dig a hole as fast as lightning and as deep as hell. Right. Well, we can get a shovel in the janitor's closet. I'm not sure what we can do about your arm, but maybe we can cover that at recess. I know where to find a leg, if that helps. Two legs, technically. They might be a little big for Nugget, though, so we'll shelf that idea for now. Nugget eagerly awaits your return. Well, I admire his enthusiasm. I anticipated the shovel, but not the arm. So what now? Talk to Carla. She has a key to the janitor's closet for you. Go get the shovel while I'll figure out what to do about the arm. Okay. Also, take my passbook. You'll need it to get out of here. Okay. Well, I need to get some kind of nugget arm. Did not expect that today, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Carla, help. Hey, new kid, how are you liking the food? Felix said you had something for me. <laughs> Lighten up, new kid, I got you. Here's the key to the closet, have a party. Thanks. And, oh, I was gonna say, do not go to your closet, please. I just want to get out of here. Oh, what are you doing? You cannot leave. You have not eaten yet. I bought a burger. I, I have a burger. Oh, uh, my mistake. Please allow me to mark your passbook. Here you go. Oh, there you are. Thank you for buying lunch today. You're welcome. Okay then, and I'm gonna try. No, I wanted to avoid you, damn it. Hey man, you need a pass to be out here. Go back to lunch or I'm giving you study hall. I have a pass. Oh, a bathroom pass. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. And for some reason, he takes it. Weird. Okay, well, I can get in here. All right, this is the door of the janitor's closet. It's locked. Unlocked. Just got to find a shovel. Still really confused about whatever this is. This bat is giving off some dizzying fumes. It's hooked up to a tube that seems to be running to the cafeteria. Right, uh, no shovel, the battle axe is a chainsaw. There's, there's no shovels here. Am I in the right place? Oh, never mind. there's a chainsaw and a shovel on this shelf. Am I blind? There is no shovel on that shelf. I'll take the shovel. Oh, hey, what the? Kids aren't supposed to be in here. There's lots of sharp objects and bad chemicals and blood. There's blood on the floor there. Did you cut yourself? Are you okay? It's not my blood. But, but whose blood is it then? It would have to be, but no, that doesn't make any sense. Something isn't right. You okay, Bob? <gasps> I'm fine, just having trouble remembering what happened yesterday. Why is this here? What happened? I don't know, but now that you mention it, that is weird. I see a bloody battle axe on a wall and it's to the point where I just glance over it. I don't even question it anymore. I'll, I'll question a jar of spiders, but a bloody battle axe? Yeah, it's just normal for this school. <laughs> That's the bell. Why don't you head out to recess? I think it's best if I figure this out by myself. I'll do that. Thanks, Bob. Well, I got a shovel and a whole bunch of unanswered questions and you're not the right brother. I'm supposed to be talking to you. Well, I got a shovel and a whole bunch of unanswered questions, but I didn't find an arm, did you? Were you successful in your endeavors? Yes, were you? Uh, no need to be snippy. I've identified a potential donor. The trick is collecting the uh, goods. Who's the target? A little wheelchair boy, he won't put up much of a fight. That's a mistake. He absolutely will. He's got a cannon on that chair. How do I get his arm? How do we put it on Nugget? I spoke with him at lunch about a very lucrative business deal. What, are you gonna give him legs for an arm? Cause I know where to find legs. 
<laughs> so when I give you the signal, he'll meet me inside to sign the papers. He'll be all alone. It'll be the perfect time to strike. Oh, the deal is a trap. You just want me to kill him. Okay, got it. Excellent. Just give the word and I'll send the signal. Be sure to have your passbook ready so you can get inside. Where do I find a passbook? You mean you don't have one? Oh, that's right. You're new. Well, maybe someone threw one away. Check inside the dumpster. I am way too pretty to be talking to dumpster hag. It's a dumpster. It sounds like someone is laughing inside. Bang on the dumpster. <laughs> Who's banging on my dumpster? Oh, hello, child. So good to have a visitor. Say, you wouldn't happen to have any food on you. I have a burger. I don't suppose you would give me your arm for it. <laughs> Oh, a burger! It's got a smoky flavor to it. It reminds me of my cat. Smokey, do you want him? Uh, got anything else? Oh, you don't want my cat? Oh, that's too bad. Let me see if there's something else in here. Oh, here we go. One of them pass books you kids use. Thanks for the food. Right, that's why I was here. I already forgot. <gasps> bye bye then. You are a strange character, dumpster hag, but I appreciate you. Nugget, will you please just man up? Stop bleeding all over my pretty pink dress and dig yourself a new Nugget Cave with one arm. Okay, I don't think it's asking that much. <laughs> Nugget thinks this would be a good place for the Nugget Cave. That's nice, Nugget. Okay, fine, fine. I I'll go take a kid's arm, but I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. <gasps> Where do you think you're going? You're not allowed inside. I need to use the bathroom, okay? I need to take a wicked huge lady dump, and I'm sure you of all people can appreciate that. Fine, have a good time. How can you not have a good time taking a wicked huge lady dump? I told them this was a bad idea. Hold it right there, kid. Not step closer. I know what you're about to try. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I am gonna try to go get this giant lady dump out of me. That's it. Oh, please. Felix is a good business name, but I've been doing this a lot longer than he has. You can tell him, hey, what's going on over here? Only one student is allowed to pass through at a time. Oh, shut up, Hall Nerd. We're talking business here. As I was saying, you can tell him, one of you has to go back outside right now. I mean it. <sighs> okay, how about this then? That works for me. I mean, ah! <laughs> you shot my arm! My arm! It's gone, my arm! There you are, kid. You don't need mine anymore. You can tell Felix the price on the goods just doubled. <laughs> See how he feels about that. Okay then. Always a pleasure doing business with you, Monty. <laughs> this is Stevie's arm. It has blocked many children trespassing in the halls. And now it's mine. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, go. Go to gym. Please. Okay, Stevie. But I needed to give the arm... No, no! I needed to give the arm to Nugget! Did I miss something? I am not in the mood to deal with this gyrating whale right now. What are we doing here, Mrs. Applegate? Trying your best not to look like me in 30 years. Go run laps or bounce that orange ball or something. Guess we can do that. I'm gonna stand over there and try to keep the room from spinning. I wouldn't expect anything less. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Come with me. Okay. This is promising. We're almost ready to make our move, Teddy. You know your job. I sure do, Felix. I won't let you down. We're gonna do this and then you and father will finally... Yes, yes, yes. Now get to it. We'll meet you at the playground. I didn't dig the hole, though. Is that gonna be a problem? There, we're ready to move forward. What did you tell him? I told him to guard the location of the hole. Little does he know he's protecting his burial site. What's next? Go give the weirdo that arm. <laughs> we'll need him to get started immediately. Okay, thank God I didn't screw it up. Well, Nugget, I found an arm, but it doesn't exactly match you. Then again, what matches Nugget? <gasps> Do you have the arm for Nugget? Nugget would like an arm. 
Yes. Nugget liked it, Dom. Nugget is now ready to earn its trip to the Nugget Factory. Good. Get digging. Nugget will dig, but Teacher will not let Nugget leave. Teacher must be removed for Nugget to dig. Let's see what I can do. I need to get rid of her. I don't suppose I could just throw a Snickers down the hall or something like that. Oh, it's this. Right. Let go! I want to shoot some free throws. Get in line, you kid. This basketball is mine. Oh, Carla. Mmm. Yeah, you can really hear that bounce off her flat little face. Oof! Okay, who did it? Who threw that ball? It was this Jerome kid. He tried to take the ball from me, and when I tried to get it back, he just threw it in your direction. What? That's a lie. This kid came over and helped her snatch it out of my hands. It went flying when they made me let go. Both of you, shut up. What really happened? Carla's telling the truth. That's what I thought. Jerome, do you know how bad my head hurts right now? Not more than the waistband on those shorts, I'm guessing. Okay, now I'm mad. Ow, hey, stop. Screw this, I'm out of here. Come back here. This is making me feel better. All right, well, mission accomplished. Good work, kid. I appreciate the help. You think fast on your feet. Yeah, no problem. <gasps> nugget will dig. Nugget will dig for the nugget. Okay, have fun with that. Mission accomplished. Did he have the arm attached to him? I didn't actually see. <gasps> I didn't see any bleeding on the way out, though, so I'm guessing that worked. Yeah, you play with that ball because Jerome probably died for it. So Nugget is outside digging right next to Teddy who is guarding it. I don't think this is going to be much of a surprise. I'm seeing a loophole in your plan here, bud. It's almost time to make our move. With the Nugget weirdo digging the hole and Teddy supervising its development, we just need one more thing. Which is... We're going to need something to rough him up a bit. Just something we can use for a good bludgeoning. See what I can find. Excellent. Bring it to the sand pit where the grave is being dug. I'll see you there. Something to bludgeon a kid with. What? Bugs? I don't think I've ever spoken to you in gym. Do you have something to bludgeon a child? <laughs> Only water? I wish they would let us have soda. It's too bad. Oh, maybe I can, like, get a sock and some soda? I can free roam, can't I? There's no more hall monitor. I completely forgot about that, and the teacher is somewhere. I don't know where she went. Oh! Oh, I'll... Hmm, technically that stick would work. Uh, oh, wait, I still have the key. Maybe I could go into the janitor's closet? Would that be... Um, no, Bob seems to be having issues in here. I think we'll avoid that. I just can't win. Who has a blunt force instrument for me? Maybe there's a spoon or something? Uh, you got any ideas, kids? My arm, it, it hurts. Mommy, it hurts. There, there. I'll be in here if you need anything. Oh, maybe I can get a soda for bugs, right? The vending machine has some good looking snacks in it. Get a cherry soda? I really hope that was right. Bugs, please, for once in your life, be useful. Only water? I wish they would let us have soda here. Thanks, kid. This is much better. It'll help me keep my figure. <laughs> you can have this Monster Mon card for helping me out. Great. I, I don't need Monster Mon cards unless I can beat somebody to death with them. Uh, I have to take this, right? Maybe she's cool. Can I just... Borrow this real quick. It seems violent tendencies are part of Mrs. Applegate's withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> or Jerome just witnessed it firsthand. Okay, that works. I can now dress like Jerome. Don't know if I should do that, but <laughs> she isn't even saying anything, which is awful strange. Mrs. Applegate? <gasps> he <gasps> was much faster than <gasps> I thought. Oh, worked up a sweat, smacking him around. I'm not gonna poke that bear, nope. 
I'm worried that buying that soda and giving it to Bugs for a Monstermon card used an apple that I'm gonna need to finish the mission. I might be paranoid, but I've restarted. Now I'm gonna bring the stick out and hopefully things go according to plan. Ah, right on schedule. Did you get what I requested? Yes. Oh, the teacher's pointing stick. Excellent choice. This will do splendidly. Well, Teddy, it's time. Okay, I'm ready. But where's Ozzy? Oh, poor, simple, stupid Teddy. Uh, this isn't a great for Ozzy. No, no, no. It's for you. Wait, no. What? Felix, you can't. I did everything you said. And Applesoft thanks you for your service. You just poked him with the stick. You didn't... Ah! Now for the spider. What? Now for the spiders? Wait, what? <laughs> now for the spiders in the hole. Why? That just, that's not gonna kill him. It's just gonna piss him off. It is at the bottom of this hole. Felix has asked me to empty the jar of spiders onto him. Okay. Oh, I got his clothes for that. So he's naked in a hole with spiders. Oh, wow, Felix, stop, they're in my hair. They're crawling all over me. Yes, yes, that's kind of the point. Okay, weirdo, time to fill in the hole. And then you take Nugget to the Nugget factory. Oh, yes, of course. Nugget will fill in the hole. Nugget will fill in the hole for Nugget. Oh yeah, he does have a little arm attached. Look at that. Right on schedule, let's get to the schoolyard. I have something important to give you. So we did it, we hurt him. We didn't kill him. He fell down the nugget hole, survived, then got covered in spiders, but he's fine. So <laughs> I'm a little confused, it doesn't matter. Well, the date is done. I appreciate your assistance. I'm sure you'll be waiting for your payment then. Yes, I do. Uh, then you are, there you are, the finest semi-legal chemical in existence. What's it do? Wait, what? You know those pills from your old school? This is the key ingredient in making them. What did the pills in the old school do? I can't remember. Ooh, interesting. And I got a Monster Mon card treasure chest. <gasps> Please accept this Monster Mon card as well. It's a treasure chest. But the real treasure is the friends we buried alive along the way. I don't think that's the saying. Silence, our business is complete. Good day to you, Hitman. Wait for Nugget! <laughs> Nugget has finished filling the hole. Now he's dead. Okay, yeah, now he's definitely dead. Nugget will now take a trip to the Nugget Factory! Oh, yes, how could I forget? Uh, hey weirdo, if there wasn't a Nugget Factory, uh, that would be okay, right? Nugget would bury the witch boy with his bo witch brother. Oh, right, okay then, the limo is this way, weirdo. <laughs> I hope they make Nugget somewhere around here. Nugget has never been happier. Well, I think all's well that ends well, but then again, I don't really know. This was so frigging weird. <laughs> I got a bunch of kids' clothes who died. I got a bunch of Monster Mon cards. Ooh, Dab Hero, don't mind if I do. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Kindergarten 2, guys. And we're really getting close to figuring out the mystery of this game. We're on the final three missions now and they all look really important. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and I'll return to figure out what's going on here in my pretty pink dress soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.